Hi everyone, today we are diving into two incredibly powerful tools, System Tab, which allows deep kernel and user space tracing, and Perf, a hardware-based performance monitoring tool. We will go beyond the basics and show you real-world advanced use cases that few people know. Stick around for some hidden gems that will take your Linux performance analysis to the next level. System Tab is a dynamic tracing tool that lets us peek inside the Linux kernel and analyze system behavior in real time. Unlike S-Trace or Top, System Tab allows us to prop system calls, track function execution, and analyze performance without modifying any code or rebooting the system. Here is how a system tab script works. 1. Parsing and validation. The script is checked for syntax and semantics. 2. Translation to C language. The script is converted into C code. 3. Kernel module compilation. The compiled C code is turned into a loadable kernel module. 4. Execution and data collection. The kernel module gathers system events. 5. Module unloading. Once the script completes, the module is removed, ensuring no permanent changes to the system. Now let's install System Tab on OpenSUSE. Before we do that, here I listed the existing repositories on the system after a default installation of OpenSUSE Lib and then I enabled all the debug repository and as you can see here now when I listed the repositories again all enabled after that we need to force refresh for all the repositories existing on the system and after that we need to install these packages system tab, system tab docs and server and for the kernel you are using, in my case, I didn't change anything and I left the default installation of OpenSUSE Leap. So I have to install kernel defa default uh, debug info, kernel default devil, and kernel source, and the compiler GCC. So let's hit enter and we will be back later after the installation is finished. Now the installation finished. After installation, let's check if system tab works correctly by running a test prop, as you can see. If you see output, system tab is successfully installed. If you get errors about missing debug info, make sure to install the kernel debug info for your kernel version. Before we start writing and running a more advanced system tab scripts, let's take a minute to explain system tab more and clarify the test script we ran after the installation. You may consider system tab as a framework that provides a command line interface and a scripting language to examine the activities of a running Linux system, particularly the, the kernel, in fine detail. System tab scripts are written in the system tab scripting language, are then compiled to C code kernel modules and inserted into the kernel. These scripts can be designed to extract, filter, and summarize data, thus allowing the diagnosis of complex performance problems or functional problems. System tab provides information similar to the output of tools like netstat, ps, top, and iostat. The system tab command stab is a system tab front end runs a system tab script either from file or from standard input. It translates the script into C code, compiles it, and loads the resulting kernel module into a running Linux kernel. Then the requested system trace or prop functions are performed. So now let's understand what happened here in the example we ran after the installation of system tab to make sure that the installation was successful. As you can see, we ran a script of a system tab written in system tab scripting language in a standard input, which is the terminal. And in writing a system tab script, as you can see that it consists of two sections, the prop 
event and the handler so the first is prop starting the prop to prop the kernel or getting an info or information about something so in that case or here in this case virtual file system getting read so prop the virtual file system if it got or any read happen on the virtual file system this is the handler or the prop body so in number one checks the script against the existing tab set library n slash usr slash share slash system tab slash tab set for any tab sets used tab sets are scripts that form a library of pre-written props and functions that can be used in system tab scripts and here in pass to or in the second action examines these scripts for its components and then number three translates the script to c language runs the system c compiler to create a kernel module from it both the resulting c code and the kernel module are stored in the system tab cache in the root home folder dot system tab the hidden folder under the home folder of root user and then for loads the module and enables all the props events and handlers in the script by hooking into the kernel the event begin propped is a virtual file system read as the event occurs on any processor a valid handler is executed here in this case prints the text read performed and closed with no errors five after the system tab session is terminated the props are disabled and the kernel module is unloaded so again system tab scripts consists of two components system tab events the prop points and the system tab handlers prop body so in other words if an event happen this is what you should run so for the prop name the kernel events and the associated handler should be executed and these events can be a certain function timer expiring or starting or terminating a session and the body consists of a script language statements that specify the work to be done whenever a certain event occurs now let's go beyond the basics here is a script that monitors all file read operations and prints details about each process accessing files also as you can see the script is written in the system tab scripting language which is similar to awk and c language for more information i will leave all the links related to the subject in the description under this video so this script will prop the system call for read and then printing an information about it as you can see the exec name name of the current process pid process id of the current thread and the fd is the file descriptor so let's run it and see the output and it is reading every read happening on the system or calling the read function by the system and to be honest to exit from this control c should work but it is not working in that case it is like infinite function so the only way to do that is to close the terminal to end the running prop so if you want to monitor cpu usage dynamically here is a script that prints cpu usage per process every second so let's run it and see the output and you can stop running the script by pressing ctrl c most people don't know that system tab is not just for kernel tracing we can trace user space applications too here is how to monitor ssh login attempts in real time but before we continue so far you noticed that system tab scripts extension is .stp and we can say it's a convention to end with stp and as you can see for any software in user space you want to monitor you need to install the debug info 
for that package. In that case, you have to install OpenSSH Server Debug Info and OpenSSH Debug Info. So here, this script, this lets us see every SSH authentication attempt happening in real time without modifying SSH itself. So let's run it. And now I will try to SSH to this machine from another machine. And I will enter my password there. And as you can see that it is monitoring and showing the attempt happen in real time. To exit from the script, you just hit Control C. Now let's talk about hardware based performance monitoring with Perf. Perf is a low overhead, high precision performance analysis tool that leverages the CPU's performance monitoring unit, PMU, to capture events like CPU cycles, cache misses, and branch mispredictions. It's perfect for analyzing system wide or per thread performance. Let's install perf on our system by running this command sudo zipper install details and perf. So let's hit enter and let perf install on our system. Perf installation is finished. Let's monitor CPU usage in real time. This command monitors system wide CPU activity for five seconds, displaying key metrics like cycles and instructions and cache references, helping you identify CPU bottlenecks. Let's measure memory access and usage. This measures how frequently the CPU accesses the cache and how often it fails which can help diagnose memory performance issues such as inefficient caching strategies. Checking Disk I.O. Activity This captures disk read-write requests showing which processes are causing the most I.O. activity. If your system is slow due to excessive disk operations, this can help pinpoint the issue. And as you can see, we run perf record and then perf report. The first command will generate a file in the same folder you are in now. When using perf report, it will directly read the existing file. Monitoring network packet transmission. This command captures network packet transmission events, making it useful for identifying high network traffic sources and potential latency bottlenecks in real time. System tap is best for deep kernel and user space analysis, while perf is ideal for real time performance monitoring of CPU, memory, disk and network activity. Use them together for maximum insights. That's a wrap. We covered system tab for advanced tracing and perf for real time performance monitoring. Whether you are troubleshooting system slowdowns or optimizing CPU and disk performance, these tools give you unparalleled insight into Linux internals. If this video helped you smash that like button and subscribe for more expert Linux content. Got questions? drop them in the comments. I answer every single one. See you in the next deep dive and thanks for watching.